The second game in the wild card format was an absolute doozy. If you're a third party fan, this is what you tune in to see. Cardinals are up two nothing. Phillies have two outs left before they lose the game. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you very much for sponsoring the video. So you got Real Mudo coming up to bat. There's one out in the ninth, and they're down. That's a ball low from Helsley. That's a fastball right down the middle. The fastball looked pretty good when it was in the zone. Something important to note is these day games in the playoffs, you got to deal with the shadows. And when the pitcher is in the light and the batter's in the shadows, it is so hard to hit. And I don't think it's a coincidence that come the ninth inning when the shadows finally reached the pitcher, we started seeing better at bats, longer at bats. Real Muto pokes that one over the shortstop. And that might be the only real legit hit of the inning. There's a lot more coming. Harper's up now. Ball low. Nice curveball that Harper swings over. Nice fastball that Harper swings under. Now they're like one more strike and there's two outs. They're excited. That's a ball, though, and that's a ball, though, and that's a ball, though. Uh-oh. Now there's two on. Two outs to go. Pitching coach comes out and says, hey, man, just get him out, I think. Castiano, Castellanos comes up. Another ball. Uh-oh. Another ball up and in. Lost control of the fastball. Nice slider, though. Two and one. Oh, man. Has really lost control of the fastball. Now the slider's low. Everyone's looking at him like, okay, Cassiano takes his time. Everyone kind of slow. And the manager says, uh, yo, that's ball four. Yeah, no, they have it right. And now the Phillies fans are smiling. And the Cardinals fans are getting nervous because that's a ball in the dirt. Fastball down the middle. Foul back. Now they're praying. Phillies fans are smiling. Cardinals fans are praying. That ball's up and in. He doesn't care that it hit him. That's a run. And now it's playoff baseball at its finest, and you got the Cardinals manager just kind of doing nothing. He's like, all right, are they ready in the bullpen? Like, I don't think they're ready yet. And he's like, all right, well, go out and bring the trainer with you, and let's milk this for time and get as much time as we can. So they go out. They say, hey, you're hurt, huh? And he says, where are you hurt? And he says, uh, oh, it's your hands hurt. Let's check it out. Maybe throw a pitch, see if you can pitch. No? Okay, well, we bought enough time. Our reliever is in looking for a ground ball, looking for a ground ball double play to get out of this. They're still up right now, 1-1, fastball in. Now, this slider is nasty. That is a nasty slider to get the second strike. Look at that. Whoo, and he chases it, and you're like, throw that again. Throws it again, chases it again. Oh, no, off of his glove. Off of his glove and two runs score. Just a ground ball off his glove. He jumps for joy. And then Harper's going to score. He's going to let out a good bam. Let's go. Cardinals infield defense is a plus for them. Just it's just looking. Marmol just looking. Uh-oh. Oh, Unabomber. Not excited. Worried. Fast or fastball. In there. Bunt attempt. Why? Now that Yachty wants as a strike. Because it's a strike. Would have been strike three. Yachty's pretty upset about it. What do you got that, huh? Manner says, a fucking call a strike. Fouled back, up high. And then this puts in play. Goldie grabs it. He goes immediately home to get the run, and he's safe. And that's an interesting call. I bet there's a lot of different opinions on this. Because if you look at it, when he has the ball, the runner is right there. He's still running. By the time he's up, the runner's still in view. You can step on first and then throw to second, try to get the double play. You can throw to second and then have them throw back to you for the force. A double play ends the inning and you're only down one run. He elects to go straight home, which is probably like a called play. Like, hey, if it's a hot shot to you, go straight home. Yachty, still bitching at the umpire about that missed strike three call. Not happy about it at all. Now they're really, they're like beyond prayer. They're kind of sad because now it's a two run game. And now it's kind of a thing, and you're still going. And now, oh, no. Maybe the best third baseman we've seen lets that one. It just got so much topspin. That second hop just picks up the rotations on him. And they're leaving. They're out. They were so excited. Now they're so distraught. They're gone. 5-2. Schwarber puts one in the air for a sack fly. 6-2. to two, And the Phillies are just keeping going. Now, I don't know if this is more earned than given, but finally – Strike three, and the umpire, I think, is making up for the call because that pitch was more a ball than the one he called a ball. Look, so the one more inside. And obviously, I think that has to do with where the umpire is setting up. Like, look at his head for a lefty and a righty. So it's across the plate or it's on the plate. 
But the one that's over the plate was called a ball, and the one that's not over the plate was called a strike. This woman, she's still got faith. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Itchy head. And then she's like correct, you know, because they still had to hit, but then she's wrong because it was kind of over. People left early. It was demoralizing. The Phillies came back and won. They're celebrating. Other team is not celebrating. Wild, wild finish. Wild card weekend. Brought to you by DraftKings. Head to DraftKings. Have some fun. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdowns. Appreciate you guys, as always.